Bora, Zu. Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson on how to play the intro solo from Whiskey in the Jar. I was going to do all of these videos with the intro solo and the verse and the chorus all as one video and I put it together and it was over 45 minutes long so uh, it's now just going to be a very short video so this is literally just a lesson on how to play the intro solo. Um, below, in a uh, link in the description, I will put a link to the other videos that I've done on this song. As I'm going to mention probably in all these videos, I've got, you know, the, the tone is the middle pickup on a, on a Strat and you want to have a little bit of distortion on your amp and then it's got a, a Leslie kind of cabinet speaker thing um, is the tone that you're aiming for. So um, I was using um, a mixture of a bit of phaser and a bit of wah to get that tone. And so yeah, next is be the lesson thing. Okay, intro solo. So unlike the rest of this song, it's in A minor. I don't know why, but it is. Um, the whole rest of the song is in E minor or G major, whichever you prefer. But this is in A minor. So we're going to be basically in uh, A minor first position for a majority of the solo. And then uh, we've got a few chromatic bits. Chromatic basically just means where you play all the notes. It doesn't matter what scale you're in. You just play everything. Um, so we've got a few of those. But predominantly A natural minor. Or if you prefer the modal name, A aeolian. So let's crack on. Eighth fret on the E string. Okay, I'm going to play that. I actually play that with my middle finger. You can do it with your pinky, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to re-pick it again. Then I'm going to re-pick it again and pull off to seven. Like that. Then fifth fret. E, this is all on the E string, I should say. Then seventh fret. Bit of vibrato. Got to be careful with your vibrato there. If you go too low, it comes off the bottom of the guitar. I don't want to do that. Then I'm going to play seven again, still on the E string. I'm going to do another pull off to five. Then I'm going to go up to the B string, eighth fret. Then I'm going to bend that eighth fret. A whole tone bend, okay? So that's my first bit. Eight, eight, pull off eight, seven, five, seven. Bit of vibrato. Seven, pull off seven, five. Eight, on the B string, bend eight, up a tone bit of vibrato. I'm then going to do a, a faster run. This is a, a minor pentatonic now run. So it's going to be 8th fret B string to 5th fret B string. I always do that with my pinky. You don't need to. That's absolutely fine. That works as well, but I will always do it like this just for, um, just ha habitually. That's how I do it. So 8 pull off to 5, 7 pull off to 5, 7 pull off to 5. So I'm going B string 8 5, G string 7 5, D string 7 5. I pick those all with down picks actually. Do them all with up picks. It doesn't really matter. The picking doesn't matter because it's legato. And then we're going to hit do a seven pull off to five on the D string. And I'm going to play seven then on the D string again. Then on the G string I'm going to play four and hammer on to seven. You can see I'm doing that one to pinky, but again you can use your ring finger. That's just my personal preference for, for using my pinky. So. Then on the B string, I'm going to do a hammer on from five to eight and then a pull off to five. So. Then I'm going to slide from seven to nine. Now, sometimes when I've heard people do covers of this, this they go and double pick that. It doesn't sound like a double pick to me on the record. It sounds more just like that. But if you prefer going, you know, that's, that's cool, isn't it? It still sounds fine, doesn't it? And sometimes they, 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 you know, the picking is slightly different, but that's basically how it sounds like to me on the track. So it'd be pull off seven to five on the D, seven on D, then hammer on four to seven on the G string, then five, eight, five on the B string, and then a slide. Then we've got the chromatic bit. It's gonna start on this note, this is a D note, and I'm gonna slide into it from the sixth fret, and I'm gonna play seven, six, five, four on that string. Now you can go pinky, that works. That's how I often do it though. Then I'm gonna do go seven on the D, six on the D, five on the D, seven on the A, six on the A, five on the A, 
then we're going to go up to 8 on the E, 7 on the E, 6 on the E, and then 5. So you end up with... And that's the end of the intro solo. So that's basically how it goes. Let me just do it super slowly for you, and then we'll move on to the next section. Okay, well thanks for watching that and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you found it useful. As I say, there will be um, lots of other videos on this song, so I want to do the whole song. I uh, hope you'll find them more useful, hopefully you'll play the song. I'd love to hear some people doing some covers of all these different sections. Um, as usual, please like the video, please comment at the bottom and um, please subscribe to the channel. All of those things are super useful and I really, really appreciate it. I try and reply to all the comments I get. <clears throat> oh, I should also say, uh, if you want to um, head over to Facebook and like my Facebook page, um, I've got like 99 likes, it's very sad, so I need someone needs to go over there and get me up to 100. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys soon, for, probably for some more whiskey in the jar. Bye-bye.